what's up so today I'm filming a very exciting video for you guys I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this look right here I wanted to play with one of my new glitters and do like a half cut crease because I've never done that before and I wanted to kind of challenge myself and do it um, so if it's not that perfect that's why I like never really use glitter or do cut creases and that's why I wanted to do it because I want to practice and yeah I did really full glam full coverage I used one of the new by audacious liquid lipsticks and I love it it's so beautiful Beautiful. And so yeah, if you guys want to see this full face makeup tutorial on this look, go ahead and keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Brittany Raquel. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys, so three times a week. And yeah, so if you want to see how to get this look, go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, starting with the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden. And I've just been liking this lately, and I'm going to go ahead and blend that in with a flat brush. And then also my finger just to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that with a um, skin tone eyeshadow. Now for my transition shade, I'm going in with Frappe from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to go ahead and place this into my crease and above it. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get the intensity that I want. Now going in with Morocco on this pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and start outlining where I want my cut crease to be. And as you can see here, I'm not putting it in my actual crease because my crease is very low because I have hooded eyes and you won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to go above that line. And then I'm just going to keep doing this until I get the color payoff that I want. Now I'm going in with the deeper shade. This is Fudge from Anastasia on the same brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this where I placed that one. Just a little bit um, lower and staying closer to the eye. But pretty much the same. And then I'm going in with an angled brush and some concealer. And I'm going to start cutting the crease with this. And so I'm going to outline where I want the cut crease to start. And then once I have that on there, I'm going with the flat brush and the same concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all what is below the crease just to go ahead and have a nice canvas. Then I'm going in with that same angled brush and making sure I'm rounding it off so it looks nice and precise. And then so that doesn't crease, I'm going to go ahead and set it with that skin tone shade once again. Now for the fun part, I'm taking NYX Glitter Glue and I'm going to apply that with a small detailer brush all the way up to the crease. But I'm only going to go halfway on my eyelid and then I'm applying this NYX Glitter in the shade Crystal. It's super duper pretty and it looks like pixie dust. And I'm just applying that with a dry flat brush. And then I just keep adding glue wherever I want to place the glitter and then I go right on top with the glitter. And I'm only going halfway because I want to go ahead and do a half cut crease. Now to go ahead and deepen up the look, I'm taking this Beauty Mark shade from Anastasia. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to outer corner and also kind of halfway on the lid where we didn't put the glitter. And then I'm just going to keep packing that on until I get the color that I want. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back in with Morocco. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this is an Anastasia eyeshadow. I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that Beauty Mark shade. And if you get any glitter where you don't want it, like in your crease, you could go ahead and just take a spoolie and scratch it off and it comes right off. Then I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes and do my wing with my Kat Von D Trooper Liner as usual. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and jump to my face really quick and I'm just taking off any excess glitter from my face. And now to go ahead and prime, I'm taking my NYX Angel Veil Primer and I'm just going to put this all over my face. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I recently started using this again just because it's one of the foundations I never finished. And so I went ahead and used it for this video and I really liked the way it looked. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all in with my damp Eco Tool sponge. Now 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and just contour my face really quick with my ColourPop contour stick. And oh my gosh, guys, I suck so bad at contouring my nose, as you can see right here. I suck at it, but I'm trying to get better. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with my e.l.f. Um, stippling brush. Now to go ahead and highlight and conceal my face, I'm taking this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 and I'm gonna apply this under my eyes and also the center of my face. And guys, I remember why I love this so much. It's just such a good concealer. I love the consistency. I just love the finish. It just looks so good. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and also bake my face with my Cody Airspun Loose Finishing Powder. Now after that was done baking, I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC Mineralized Powder in the shade Golden. And I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that loose powder into my skin and this just helps to where I don't lose color for my skin and the loose powder doesn't wash me out if you know what I'm saying it just adds more color back to the skin and then I'm doing the same thing with my under eyes but this time I'm taking my Mac studio fix powder and the color NC20 just to kind of brighten it up a little bit Now onto the lower lash line, we're gonna go ahead and take Beauty Mark, that dark purpley brown, and apply this to the lower lashes. But then I decided I wanted it to be a little bit more deep, so I'm taking a pencil and just lining my waterline with that. And then going back in with Beauty Mark just to kind of smudge the liner and the eyeshadow together. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and buff everything out with the Morocco shade, just like we did the top. Now I'm moving back onto the face. I'm all over the place with this video. I'm taking my Becca Sunlit Bronzer and I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin with this. Now to go ahead and clean up that bronzer, I'm taking the same powder as before, the Cody Airspun. Cody Airspun, I cannot talk. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit and let it bake for a second. Then taking my blush from MAC, it's called Lovejoy, and I'm just gonna apply this to the cheeks and also my nose as usual. Now for highlight today, I'm gonna be taking Glow Getter from my Nico Guerrero palette from Anastasia. And I actually don't find myself gravitating towards this palette ever so I decided to force myself to use it in this video and I really liked it um, you just have to take your time and buff away the excess glitter and then it looks super glowy you just have to work with it I guess that's why I don't gravitate towards it that often okay then I'm gonna go ahead and buff away that bake under the contour Then I decided I want to chisel up the cheeks a little bit more, so I'm going in with the Cool Tone shade from Marc Jacobs. I'll have everything I'm using listed down below because I forgot to show this product, obviously. Um, but then I'm going to go ahead and set all these powders down with my MAC Fix Plus. Then going in with the mascara before we do some falsies, I'm gonna apply this Buxom mascara really quick. And this was my failed attempt of showing you me putting my lashes on. I'm so sorry guys, but these are the Vegas Nay Glamour Lashes. Then I'm highlighting my inner corner with my MAC Nylon Eyeshadow. Now onto the lips, I'm lining them with Whirl from MAC. Then taking my Bite Liquid Lipstick in the shade Whip. This is one of my newer lippies and oh my gosh guys, I love it so much. The consistency is so nice and the color is just so beautiful. And that is going to be everything for this video guys. I hope that you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up because makeup tutorials and hauls are pretty much my favorite videos to film. Until next time guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!